so many roads to choose. You start out walking and home to home. We've only just been. It's funny because Laura Royce, who played it season one on um, Denise, I didn't cast her originally at first. It was a different actor that we chose in the beginning, whose name was also Allison, ironically. What? So this is an actor. Oh <laughs> it's, this is a crazy story. So I, 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 there was an actor named Allison who worked with my brother. I think they went to school together, and he had recommended her for the role. I was like, cool, I really like her, she's funny, she's great overall. So we casted her, but then she got really busy, and so then Laura was always my second choice. I really liked the way she approached the role. And then it turned out things with her personal life weren't going to work out with the schedule for future seasons. Mm -hmm. So then I had to go, and Allison Wing came in and auditioned for one of the neighbor roles. Hey, I'm Allison Wien, reading for Pam. So I got into a yelling argument with the postal woman today. What? Why? It wasn't the regular woman, the blonde with the pink hat. This one had dreads. Ugh. While she was dropping our mail through the slot, Andrew heard her say, it's February and people still have their fucking Christmas decorations blocking their mail slots. So I was like, you know what, Allison, I really like the way you came in and you aud she auditioned for like two neighbor roles and she killed it. So why don't you also audition for Denise because we have an opening now. Yeah, I know. I could totally do it too, like make partner, I mean. But this isn't what I got into law to do. It's everything is Corporation A versus Corporation B. Who are we really helping here? I did a solo audition and then I brought her in to read with Steven and with uh, Katie, who plays her older sister in the series. And the chemistry was great, so I was like, you know what, let's run with this. You know, Allison definitely has a different take on the character and definitely has more of a background in comedy as well as drama, so I feel like that paired with Steven, who also has that well-rounded dynamic, will work overall for the, the show. Hey guys, we're back. Check out your hot new wife, Sam. Hey. Hey. Wow, babe, you look amazing. Oh my god, you look like a whole new person. Thank you. Denise is gone. Just call me Jean Grey. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> Not exactly, but yeah. Okay, Jean, I'll see you. I'm married to an X-Men, y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Time out, time out. Flag on the play. Pause, pause, rewind. Y'all fucking with me, right? It's, it's fuck with Irvin Day, it's fuckity fuckity day. I see y'all, I see y'all. Y'all yeah, don't see the switch? Yeah, it went from blonde to red. Yeah, I'm complimenting my wife on her new hairstyle. <laughs> no, 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 you, you're good on the cup, you can, you can slide that cup over. Th th thank you, sir. Uh, Smaller. You know what, I guess that's how it's gonna be, so fuck it. Whoever you are, you gotta make up. Awesome, Denise. I'm pretty sure okay. about that. Um, nice hair, by the way. He looks fucking awesome. Each episode kind of puts a different character kind of at the center, mm -hmm. uh, especially in season two. Like, season one is definitely a lot, it's definitely Sam and Denise heavy. Yes. 
but season two, uh, I wanted to explore some of those side characters a little bit more just to see, you know, if people were interested in them, in them. Cause I was interested in writing for them for sure. Y'all are bugging with this. Oh yeah. Well then where's Amy? I haven't heard from her in weeks ever since she caught you with that other white girl. Are you even still dating that chick? I mean, look, things happen. We all make mistakes. And we learn from them. You need to be strong. Fight the temptation. We can't all be like Sam. And what am I like? Well, you've had like, what, two girlfriends in your life? Yeah, that's because I found the one on the second time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking for a wife, though. But when you do, ain't nobody gonna want somebody with a high body count like you. Do you even know your body count? Yeah, like 28. Lord! Oh. Gross. Wow. Lord have mercy! You are spreading it really thin across the toast, aren't you? He spread it something. <laughs> um, I think looking through the windows is very relatable, especially to, you know, people in our generation who are really trying to figure out, you know, what the next move is. Um, but it's also ironically very relatable to people outside of our generation bubble just because I feel like the human experience is really kind of the, the focal point of the series even though it's rooted in comedy. I feel like people come to the project in different ways like some people's introduction to season two was the Neighbors episode. There have been some conversations around this before, but I'd just like to see who is seeing rats, either in their yard or street. It seems like this is becoming a wider issue. Well, I see him running across the street when I'm driving at night down Cameron, and my neighbor's cat, he chases him down on Varsity. Now, when I'm walking my dog in the neighborhood, he picks up the scent. That's why he's, you know, digging under the stony burrows and tall grass. Now this is definitely a problem. Now we've been here 30 years. We have never seen no shit like this before. Oh, and the rats put up a fight with my cat and he got wounds and an infection that the vet said he got from the fighting rats. Some people's came into it for uh, the hide and seek episode because they're, you know, they're going through parenting struggles and that was like a funny episode for them. You should be good for now. Uh, Tommy is napping and the other two are playing video games. As long as they don't actually try to kill each other this time. I think I'd rather just lock them in the basement with a knife and an apple, see who wins. Oh my God, Erica. I'm just kidding. Um, is it really that bad? Um, do you see where I am right now? Yeah, point taken. So then from there, then they'll, maybe they'll watch Xavier's Room or whole intervention because they've come into it from, you know, I guess a certain doorway that we've, gave, we've given them essentially and now they're introduced to the project overall. I really liked that first time when we had, you know, well, the episode where I don't speak, where we had, um, where Noah like came and walked up to me and then wa and walked away. And I like that because we played it in so many different ways. Like, you know, we had Steven come in. We're like, okay, let's see how this works with, like, with him coming in. And I thought that was really cool because it showed the dynamism of the show. It showed that Chris is open to this whole concept of taking the show in places where he might not have expected it to go, but he's open to these new ideas, which I think is really great as, you know, a director and as someone putting together an entire piece, especially something coming from their own life. Season two did a good job of setting the table for not only more Sam and Denise, but a lot of other characters. Um, so season three, we're definitely going to get back into looking at Sam and Denise, but I think there's also room for, and I, I hesitate to call them spinoffs because, I mean, this is all on the web. So I think our site, our project overall is different windows, you know. Mm -hmm. So we've established kind of the beginnings of, the, of really looking to Xavier and his interesting love triangle. Uh, the, the three amigos who are now roommates, apartment mates, you know, with Jeremy, Irving, and Milton, that whole crazy group. And then we just have the family dynamic overall with the cousins. You know, we, we've got to, gotten to know Jennifer and Charles a lot better this season. 
Um, so now we have all the cousins in place. So it's really gonna be interesting to see how it all plays out. I definitely want to give each of those groups room to breathe, um, you know, apart from the group and then also still show them. It's almost like we're creating a, a kind of a small <clears throat> universe. Um, so I definitely wanna experiment and explore that a little bit more while also still having this main thread because in my mind from the beginning, Sam and Denise have been like the characters that the universe is kind of centered around. But, you know, we do have these opp unique opportunities now to really go to, I guess, the different planets, True. you know. So I think that's what we're going to experiment with moving on, moving forward.